So imagine a glass of water. You are the cup and the emotions, thoughts, and feelings you have every day are the water that is added into your cup. Like liquids, emotions combine together and take on whatever they are poured into. So what happens when you pour a liquid out of its container? Well, that's where its form becomes clear and defined. Hey guys, what's up? It's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. This video kicks off my journaling for self-discovery series. I'm so excited to do this series for you guys. Genuinely, you can use journaling for so many different ways, for so many creative outlets or just mental health or self-discovery outlets. Whatever you're trying to use it for, journaling has so many benefits. In this series, we're going to dive into journaling for manifestation, journaling for release, journaling for mental health, anxiety, depression, and of course, starting with today's video, which is four tips to help you get started with journaling for self-discovery because all in all journaling is an amazing tool for self-discovery and for self-expression that's why you hear so many people rave about it so if you're new to my channel or just new to self-discovery or just looking to spice up your self-discovery journey my name is Paige and I make videos on all sorts of topics that relate to finding yourself finding your power so if that is something you're interested in make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you know when the next upload for the series is coming and of course like this video so I know that you like this content so but without further ado let's dive in my first tip to start journaling for whatever reason whether it's mental health manifestations just self-discovery altogether I think it is super important to define your why now in any case that you are starting a commitment or you'd like to commit to something Defining your why is a key tool to being able to stay committed to it because you're setting your intention, you're setting your purpose, and this is where you're actually creating the little seed that gets in the back of your head that is hopefully going to grow as you practice doing whatever you intended to do. Finding your why also helps you understand what your intention is going forward. My personal experience, anytime I got a new journal, I would always start off with my first page explaining my intention behind the journal, explaining what that specific journal was going to be kind of categorized for because honestly I'm a hello Virgo and I really like to be organized and like to separate my thoughts I mean really going back to what I said at the beginning of this video when your emotions are being put out on paper you're able to see them clearly you're able to see the definition and truly like your purpose when you're writing it down so the more deliberate and conscious you are about your actual intention and about why you'd like to start journaling the more you can kind of go back to then any moment that you you know may have resistance number two is go with the flow and I freaking mean this I think a lot of people have a bad taste in their mouth about journaling or writing in general because when we were growing up most of our writings were graded they were judged and they were told that they were wrong or right and you know they marked with red ink I mean that's really not a helpful way for somebody to understand that your unique expression is okay because obviously actions speak louder than words in those situations so I just want to let you know that it is completely fine to write however you want to you can write with perfect sentence structure if you'd like you can also write in a way that's called a stream of consciousness basically not taking grammar or any kind of sentence structure into consideration just kind of going with the flow of things that are popping into your head Personally, I find that to be the best method for me most of the time as you can probably see by my writing style on my blog link down below aimless self promo but also you can write in a more bullet pointed style where you use words for what they are which they're just energy that you see in this example I normally do this style when I'm reaching for a better emotion or if I'm trying to manifest something personally this is just using words as energy and realizing that a word alone can summarize so much energy so much vibration and so much just feeling within us so using them as just standalone words or phrases describe something else kind of like a spider web or brainstorming kind of layout I just find that any way that I want to journal in that moment is the right way for me to journal in that moment so do not hold back don't think that you have to act a certain way which leads me into number three so that would be to release judgment honestly like I said this isn't graded this isn't something that you need to be picture perfect on or it doesn't even need to make sense to other people I know with a lot of my writing there is just some out of left field comments that I make and I'm like hmm, that's 
artistic in a way. So don't judge yourself. The, honestly, the more that you'll journal, the more you'll recognize your self-talk in the way that you patternly talk to yourself. But journaling also provides you with a safe space where you can review your thoughts, where you can reflect on the way you were feeling, the way you were talking to yourself in certain moments and certain energies. So it's extremely, extremely beneficial for you to let down your guard when you're journaling and just do it from a place that is most authentic to you. Don't, because ultimately nobody has to see it if you don't want them to. So keep that in mind. Last but not least, tip number four to get started with journaling. That is to go about your gut when to get started. Don't feel like you have to wait to be in a certain mood or a certain mindset. I, yes, you know, certain methods that we're going to talk about in the upcoming videos of this series are going to dive in a little bit more about being more goal oriented and just trying to be a little bit more efficient in how we are like journaling and exercising our energy. That doesn't mean that you can't journal when you just feel like you have something to give and to express out into the world. Personally in the past I've heard people say that you're not supposed to journal when you're in a bad mood because thoughts become things and that kind of thing which that once again is a fear-based belief I think because personally I'm not afraid of my emotions. I know that I have them and they're not really gonna do me any good if they're being stifled in my body and not expressed. So I think it is extremely 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 helpful to not limit yourself when it comes to journaling to express the things that you feel you need to express but again there are different methods and different ways that you can journal to get specific outcomes so just being intentful about it when you're going about it honestly that's the key to everything as I've always said is the awareness your intentions on how you're handling the situation so if you're feeling like the weight of the world is on you and you're worried that oh my god I don't want to manifest that I want to create more problems you know just remind yourself that your intention is to release I'll be making a full video on that so like I said stay tuned and turn on your post bell notifications but it is so important to remember that your expression is not wrong your expression will never be wrong in the way that you choose to express yourself I mean it could use work at times it may benefit for you to be a little bit more clear and concise with your method but with practice comes improvement journaling is just like that but even more than your writing your emotional state will start to change only as I've pushed through my resistance about writing about what honestly came down to my fear of just being afraid of seeing my own thoughts and seeing myself clearly I realized that like that's not really a cool fear to have and that doesn't help me at all in my life so I am a humongous advocate for journaling for self-discovery and for any other reason under the Sun so yeah I hope this video helped you guys and if it did give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if there's any other suggestions you have too on specific topics you'd like me to make more videos about in regards to journaling just let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching I always appreciate your love and support so thank you so much check out my WordPress and Instagram I'll link down below <laughs> and we'll see you in a later video bye for now